Urge Overkill are a rock band from Chicago. They were formed in 1986, they are still going, but they had a seven-year break from 1997 to 2004. Uh, they have four current members, two of whom are uh, original members, and two of them are called have the surname Arling, that's the other two. Uh, they also have 13 past members, and they've released seven studio albums. And it's um, interesting having more past members than studio albums. Uh, they have had uh, some exposure. They uh, opened on a tour for Pearl Jam and uh, on another tour for Nirvana. Hi, my name's Dan. So this is the fourth album from uh, Urge Overkill uh, and their major label debut. And it's my first encounter with this album, or in fact, with the band at all. I have no idea anything about them. I don't actually know how uh, well known they are. Um, I guess particularly in America, I'd not heard of them before. Um, so uh, this album features the t uh, the two founder members who are still with them, uh, who are uh, Nash Cato on guitar and vocals and uh, Eddie King Rosier on uh, bass, guitar and vocals, and uh, a guy calling himself Blackie Onassis on drums, who was with them for a few albums, as far as I can work out. Um, and I, so my normal uh, process is to listen twice to an album. Um, I usually listen once uh, before, you know, without finding out any information about it. Uh, so it's as blind as I can make it. And then I read up, and then I do a second listen. Uh, sometimes it kind of overlaps a bit, and I start reading towards the end of the first listen, you know, whatever. Um, on this occasion, I listened three times, and that was because I felt like after two times I hadn't formed an opinion. I've listened three times, now I've formed an opinion. It's okay. Uh, so let's describe it. It's rock. It's quite heavy rock at times, where well, in fact mostly well, there are some more stripped back tracks. And the, the stuff that I like here is there's some occasional inventive stuff some odd sounds, some interesting transitions, some speech clips. Um, mostly, I'd say that this is kind of sugar on the top of fairly standard uh, rock, but the, the, uh, there is that kind of slight unusualness there at times about it. One of the things that's uh, fairly unusual is the last track has got a silence before a hidden track. That's not unusual. The thing that's unusual is that that silence is it's about 20 minutes is long so the album uh, is listed as being 70 minutes a little bit over that but there's off obviously because of this silence there's not 70 minutes of music um stuff that i didn't like so much at uh, the singing i'm not a great fan the uh, the guy i think it's uh kato uh, nash Gato, who's doing most of the singing his uh, his voice is um, I was going to say it's okay, but actually I don't think it is. It's not great. It's kind of lacking presence is the is the big thing. Uh, and the other thing is the production, which is quite raw. So I'm uh, I'm going to freely admit here that there are people for whom this will be an attraction rather than a detriment. Um, it does have a kind of live and raw feel to it. Uh, actually, it's quite varied because it feels like it's been recorded over several sessions, uh, possibly in different uh, studios. I didn't look that up. Um, some, so some people will like the lack of pretension that this has. Uh, mostly for me, it kind of put me off a little bit. There were bits where it, the tuning wasn't great. There were certainly bits where there was kind of little fluff, some mistakes in there. And I'm not not against a bit of that because it makes it feel human but i felt like it was just a little bit too much for me maybe i was just not well inclined towards it in the first place for some reason um so uh, that's the kind of negatives uh the songwriting i i I got my note here. I'm not particularly impressed with it. That doesn't mean I was particularly unimpressed with it either. It was just kind of okay. I do. Uh, I would be interested in knowing what the, uh, the the title of one track is. Bottle of fur, and that's a curious title for a track. So yeah, I'd be interested in knowing what that means. Um, but overall, for me, I think that there are some positive things, which are these general kind of quirky bits and there's some negatives and they're kind of in balance so overall this makes it meh, okay really so 
that's what I think. I'd love to know what you think. It may be that I'm treading on your toes here because you absolutely love this album. I'd love to know what it is that you like about this album. And maybe it is this thing about the uh, the production. Maybe you like that kind of uh, honesty of the rawness of the production. Um, whereas I think I probably would have liked it to be a bit more polished. Um Anyway, I'm going to invite you, as I always do at this point, to tell me what you think by uh, typing some stuff into the comments box. And that's it from me for now. Erica came another Emmy's passed you by. Erica came when joy was pain, you had to cry. Erica, if I was the man to dry your eyes.